were helping Xavier place his girlfriend's Bella to a loyalty test. All right, if let's I were to put a girl to a test like this, she would have probably failed. So I'm hoping that, you know, it's different for somebody else. Our decoy Cameron will be the one testing Bella's loyalty. He's going to pretend to be rich, hit on her, and then eventually ask her on a date. So how do you like the crib? Like, you you really like the house? Like, I do. I love it. You love it. Come out here a little more, you know, spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, this could be a reality, you know what I'm saying? Is that something that you would be interested in? Hmm. What's up, bro? How you doing? Great, man. Great, great, great. great. Welcome to your crib, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> Good to be home. <laughs> Good to be home. So, Xavier, you managed to get away. I know. I told her that I was doing, like, training because I had, like, onboarding since I just, like, got this job. So, I mean, she didn't really question it too much. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Did she get suspicious or no, anything? No, no? she didn't. She... We're Gucci good? Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, cool. Xavier just got a new job. So, in order to meet us up, he told Bella that he had a mandatory training that he couldn't miss for a couple of hours. She doesn't know exactly how long, but okay. I just told her I just had paperwork to sign okay. and a couple trainings to do. Now, this loyalty test actually began yesterday. We instructed Xavier to bring Bella to this restaurant to have lunch with his supposed friend, Ken. This was phase one of our test. I'm definitely gonna test her and see what, <laughs> see what she wants to do, but all in all, man, I really do hope she passes. After waiting for some time, Xavier eventually texted Ken that he was here. I don't see them anywhere. Do you see them? Oh, no, I don't see them. Oh, there they are. I see them. Dude, what's up? Oh, bro, it's been forever, dude. Hello, man. How you been? Chilling. <laughs> Hi. Oh, nice to meet you, I'm Ken. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about you. You guys ready to get something to eat? Ken is pretending to be Xavier's friend whom Bella has never met. We knew she wouldn't question this because, well, Bella hasn't met any of Xavier's friends. You see, what? she actually lives in a different state. Yeah, Wait, what? these two are in a long distance, distance relationship, and that's oh. one of the reasons why Xavier wanted to test Bella. She and Xavier met. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't trust her. Too much. Too, it's too. It's just, it's just too much that goes on with that while Xavier was out in Arizona doing a fitness expo. He's into fitness, and she's a college student there. She also dances and bartends part-time, which is... Ooh, that's even worse. Dancing and bartending and going to college? Oh, that's, that's like a triple red flag. Useful information that Cameron will use to his advantage. I actually met her on, on campus. She goes to school. That's cool. Wait, what, are you, what are you going to school for right now? Now, yeah, while California and Arizona ain't exactly the furthest, 400 miles is still 400 miles. <laughs> At first, I thought it was like 100% that I was in the work. Um, I didn't realize how hard it would actually be, like once I actually like started doing it and I'm like far away from her. Yeah. But like slowly, recently, it's been getting like, we've been lagging on each other. Mm. It's not like even just, like just the fact that it would be just her. Like sometimes like I'll be lagging too, but I feel like she kind of does it in like kind of spite. You got eyes on them, right, Andrew? That's not good. Yeah, we do over. So yeah, so what did you say you've been up to recently? Um, gym. Just uh, got the new gig selling like home theater stuff. I see why he's kind of tripping. I mean, she's pretty and she's, you know, like she's in college. She's a bartender. She's a dancer. Like, yeah. She has a lot of things that would attract guys to her. And it's college. You know, they all have the same goal. Nobody's in there like looking for love or anything like that. Like they're looking for a good time. <laughs> how, do, how do you like being out here in California? <laughs> What's nice, it's not, it's not like dead. In order to pull this test, Xavier convinced Bella to fly out to California. She wouldn't be staying with him over the weekend, but we helped him cover her flights and her expenses here. I honestly felt a little bad because she thought she was going to be here on a weekend's vacation, but we got to help the homie pull this test. Long distance relationships as is are hard. And honestly, if she's willing to cheat here in California while on vacation, he's got to for sure drop her after that because who knows what she'd be willing to do 400 miles away in Arizona when he's not there. So right. what, do you guys, uh, what do you guys have planned for this weekend? Can we talk about going to the beach? I was gonna say, bro, if you're not doing anything, you should come uh, visit my place. It's like about five minutes, five, ten minutes away from the beach, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I'd be down. Would you be down? Yeah. The purpose for this phase was to invite the couple over to Ken and Cameron's supposed home. It's actually Cameron's house. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you didn't really like talk to him that much, but. Um, so you stay with him? I stay with him, yeah, I stay oh, with wow. him. I've never met a shy bartender or a dancer before, but we still wanted to ease this test in. We didn't Me want to make Bella it. suspicious or uncomfortable. Worst case scenario, she's got no choice, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. We want to make her feel like she has a yeah, choice, but yeah, at the end of the day. She does not have a choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're coming to my house. <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's true. Bella was staying with Xavier, so she had to do what he was down to do. Bro, do you remember how I used to be really into Funko Pops? This might seem really childish, Bella, but I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Phase one was a success. The couple was invited over and Ken began laying down the building blocks for the rest of our plan. I feel like it's better to, yeah, for sure, to make it like a more multiple step plan just because we try to like, I feel like rush it all in one day. Yeah. It won't be as realistic. Yeah. At least like I'm thinking like that's how she'll think. I agree. Like she might catch on or something, but. 
Alrighty, bro. Good luck, man. Once you get back, you'll see Ken out here. You'll meet up with him, and we're in the zone, okay? okay. We're going. We're going, okay? All right, all right, cool? You got it? All right. We'll see you, bro. Xavier began making his way back home. He would be bringing Bella over within the next two hours, exactly as they planned yesterday. This gave us more than enough time to make sure we were ready to go for phase two of this test. I don't have a good feeling that she's going to pass You don't think she's going to pass? No. Why don't you think that? Because they already seem to have trust issues with each other. She lives in LA. She lives that in Arizona. True. You don't get to see what she does every day, so I could understand why. If you're going to do long distance, there's no way you can have trust issues. Like, you can't. It will never work if you do. I mean, it's going to be hard to work if you don't, but really hard if you do. While he would have paranoia, but it doesn't mean she's cheating. I'm not even sure that she's cheating right now, but I do think given the opportunity for something better, she I may don't. cheat. Oh, okay. Xavier just texted me that he is 10 minutes out. Ken, I think you should just start getting to position. Remember to take the walkie with you. Over. 10 4, 10 4. Copy on that. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. We were now only 10 minutes away from showtime. They're having a long distance relationship. Okay. Okay. Long distance is work. I have a friend. His girlfriend's in Tennessee. He's out in LA. And they make it work. Ken was dating someone from Paris and was literally flying from every other week. It's crazy. And they still had loyalty issues. He just said parking should be there right now. Here we go. Where are they going to come from is the question. Where did they park? Uh, yo, what's up, X? What's up, Ken? Oh, man, how you doing? Good, yeah. You came, bro. Bro, who's up three is this? Oh, dude, that's actually Cameron's, bro. Bro, no way. I know it's pretty sick, huh? Bella, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. As you can see, these are all the pops that I have. So the couple arrives, greets Ken, and he shows off his pops collection. If you guys recall, yesterday Ken told them this. I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Oh, wow. Ken is pretending to collect and resell Funko Pops. Supposedly, he's got to drop these off to a big buyer today. But in reality, mm -hmm. we're using these pops as Xavier and Ken's excuse to exit the scene. This is the house. Yo. Ow. Yo, no they way. Gonna, yeah. They gonna do that. Ah, oh, what's going on, X? Damn, it's been a minute, dog. You straight? Man, you look good, man. The goal right mm -hmm. here is to make Bella comfortable. The plan is to leave her by herself with Cameron, so we don't need her to be shy or nothing like that. So you live in Arizona now? Oh, OK, OK. We're talking about like walking the pier, but like that could No, no, no. We can do that today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We look, bro, bro, this is right near the pier, dude. So we can go to the pier, chill. After sunset, hey, we can come back here and just chill out by the pool and like that. The guys continue breaking the ice, and Cameron nonchalantly continues to show off his lavish home. The odds of Bella cheating with a guy who's a whole state away are slim. If this guy is rich, uh, though, that hope. might even out the playing field. Everything so far is hope that it going is as fun. planned. Do you like party out in Arizona? Like, how's the vibe out there? Like, is it kind of not much to do? Oh, but you'll love it out here in LA. Like, all right, it's good. We're getting her talking. Sounds like she's opening up. It's all good. We got this room here. It's like a, a game room that we have. Earlier, we were playing some Connect Four and stuff like that, bro. Now, instead of selling Funko Pops or just pretending to be rich, everything was going as planned. We now just had to get Cameron and Bella by themselves. Do you know what Funko Pops are? Yeah, like the like little, the yeah, like the little dolls. You don't have any? No. Oh. You know, actually, what time is it? Hold it. OK, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm actually supposed to meet with the buyer. Oh, so I got to get going. Do you still want to go with me? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely want to see that. I think maybe only one of you guys can fit because I don't really have that much space to be honest. But it's, it's literally gonna be like 10, 15 minutes. Me. Would you mind staying for like a little bit? <laughs> like how long? You said it was gonna be quick, so I mean, yeah, that's no problem. We'll do something, yeah, for sure. It's gonna be quick around the corner. It, it's right, we'll be like right back, I promise. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, she can hang out here, that's no problem. So with a little help from Cameron and some social pressure, Ken and Xavier are finally able to exit the scene. Yeah, y'all drive safe, bro. We'll see when you get back. All we gotta do now is sneak them back into the house. And that's where Kyle comes in. Yeah, Make just go down the house, to that car right? down there. You sure you don't want anything to drink or a snack or a water? Yeah, I got you. This house did not have a side entrance, so to sneak Xavier upstairs, he and Ken first pretend to drive off. But yeah, let's play some uh, let's play some Connect Four over here. After parking down the street, Ken and Xavier sneak their way to the side gate of the house. Look at these sketchy mother go. Someone's about to call the cops. Yeah, yeah, they're they're not black, obviously they're not gonna Call the cops. If it was you and me running, uh, they saw us like, running down the street trying to break into the house. We, yeah. we, we wouldn't even make it to the door. Sergio, we're in position. Copy that. Sending in Kyle. Kyle, go ahead and make your entrance. Okay, I'm coming. And with that, Kyle heads to the home to distract Cameron and Bella. Kyle's heading in right now with a hundred thousand dollar watch. So you're a bartender, you dance, you go to school. What do you study in school? Psychology. Oh, so you're like studying to be a mind reader. Kyle's at the front door, Ken. A you mind can go reader. ahead and go to the corner. Yeah, but um, I just oh wait, hold on. I think it's my uh, assistant. 
Hold your position. Hold your position. I'll tell you when she goes to the door. Hey, what's up, brother? Yo, what's up, my dog? How's it going, bro? It's going good, man. Okay, so I got I went to the Rolex store. They got your wash custom made. This is probably one of the craziest freaking washes I have ever seen in my Bruh. entire life. Uh, hey, hey, Bella, come take come take a look at this real quick. Where you at? Come around. I just got this new. Come come check out this new Rolex real quick, sir. I don't want to be too far from the box. She's going to the door. Wait there. Wait there. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, this is Bella. I'm gonna close this. I don't want the draft to come in or anything like that. How do you feel about this watch? It's super, super. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a wide open go, go, thing, go, go, but you don't want the draft to come in. Okay. When it first came out, it literally was selling for like 520k. Like, Why are you running it like by that? John Mayer. Oh my God, this is so bad. I mean, to even be able to go ring with it, it says everything. <laughs> so David. Appreciate you. You got the other thing to handle for me too, right? Correct. Call me if you need anything. Appreciate else. you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. How's everything suspected? She's suspecting anything? I don't think so. I know. It's good. good. Yeah. Gucci. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. But yeah, how do you feel about the watch? Do you really like it? I do like yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. Please, I do I like it. Like for me? Whoa. Just the way she said that. So for you, I like it. Smaller watches? Kind of crazy. Okay. You should be taking her back to the game room right now. All right, but let's head back to this game. You're not getting out of this ass whooping. With Xavier now safely in the room, Cameron was free to start working his way into making his move. I know that girl's about to fail hardcore. Why? Because she saw how <laughs> handsome and rich and flamboyant and sexy and good looking and charismatic and charming and amazing that you are. Is that what it is? Flamboyant? I don't know if I don't know if Bella's going to fail or not, but I think we did a hella good job making sure our decoy looked rich. The house, the car, the Rolex, I mean, that all might make a difference. Let's play some Uno. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Damn, all right there, all right there, all right there. Hopefully Bella will remain loyal, because long distance cheating, ooh, that is on a whole other level. Yes, it is. You know how to shuffle? Matter of fact, you shuffle. No, you shuffle. No, oh, I can shuffle, okay, bet, because I don't want no excuses. You being like, oh, you didn't, you didn't sabotage the cards, blah, blah, blah. You know how to play no attack, though? Man, I'm a talker. I've told you, that's my love language. If I ain't talking no shit, yeah, if, I, if I'm talking shit, I'm with you for sure. You should definitely come out here some more for sure. Like, and you said I'm that you're dancing and stuff like that too. Like, I got yeah. some connects. Like, I could really get you in some stuff. Like, ain't no work happening in Arizona. Like, you said you in the middle of nowhere, Arizona too. So, Stop. hey, oh, now you gotta take those. You grab them. You go first though. Anything? Let me say my love like talking shit. <laughs> I ain't talking shit. I ain't feel. I'm feeling you. If I'm talking. A red flag for you yet? Unnecessarily, um, nothing too bad, I guess. And so with that, Cameron and Bella begin playing some Uno. Cameron uses the game to continue breaking the ice, getting friendly with her, and getting her to open up. Eventually, he switches to Connect Four, cueing us that he was getting ready to make his move. He's gonna be making his move pretty soon here. Okay, okay so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think, oh, see, you nervous. I got you nervous, huh? Nah, you didn't seem nervous ever since, you know, Xavier left. I don't know, it, it, you just clumsy, you nervous. Hmm, I hear you. It's your turn, go ahead. I think, is it? It is my turn. I'm oh, okay. Thinking. Oh, you think, yeah, think hard. Uh, Don't think too long. Okay, bet. But anyway, yeah, like, so how you like the crib? Like, you you really like the house? Like, I do, I love it. You love it? It's so nice. Yeah, it's cool. I can imagine living here. I mean, you ain't gotta imagine, you know, you can come out here a little more, you know, spend spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, here we go, I think this might be it. You ain't gotta imagine, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can be reality, but, you know, that's on you. I, what do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, like, you can just come out, like, come out more, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, I can show you around, like, you wanna hit the city? I know, like, the best steak houses. I know the best seafood. Like, what you into? What kind of food you like? I like seafood. Seafood, bet. We got Nobu right up the road. I know the manager and all that, like, Nobu. What's that? It's like, it's like a sushi, like sushi, seafood, you like sushi? Yeah. For real, like, we can really do that. Like, you real beautiful, like, you got a cool vibe, you, you dress cool, like, I think you'd be some good company for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, is that something that you would be interested in? Maybe. A little bit, maybe, yeah. I mean, what? do you guys have maybe. anything planned? You tripping. He said maybe. There's no way you say maybe. No shot you said maybe. For today or tomorrow. Um, I mean, you said we're gonna hang out here today. Mm, um, I got you. Well, tomorrow, like, I can make myself fully available to you. But if not, I guess then. I guess I, like, could say, like, maybe, maybe, I don't know. 
maybe. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Here's my phone. Uh, put your number in real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. And so just like that, Bella gives Cameron her number and seemingly mm. agrees to go to Nobu with him. All right, bet. I gotta call mm. it, because I don't know. Yeah, you know, I got, yeah, call it, because I don't know. You, you give me the wrong number, and I'm just sitting here calling. Yeah, no. I don't think I would classify this as a fail just yet. Bella's intentions weren't clear. Cameron mm. came off a little rambly, nervous, and vague, if I'm being honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, he got the number, so we could move on to a phase three. You think she's saying this because she's just being nice mm. or because she just feels uncomfortable or awkward? You think she's just saying whatever he wants to hear? Just playing devil's advocate here, right? Yeah. All right, so we could. All right, mm. bet. Well, I mean, she could be, but yeah. Tomorrow, you better be free. You got clothes? Yeah. Good, this yeah. That. I was like, you got date night clothes, or I got, I gotta like, I gotta get my car. Let you go shopping a little bit, cause if you're going out with me, you gotta come correct. Like, you gotta come with some yeah, style. I might have something I could wear. You sure? You sure? I mean, I can buy you some. You want some little jewelry? Like, I got a black card. I can just like. Okay, this began changing things for me. Now it's starting to sound like she's failing because Cameron is being more direct. Huh? I guess the man works backwards. Money. He said, I guess the man works backwards. But nah, he's been more direct than she, and it just seems like, like, she knows, like, you know, she ain't kind of, she ain't shutting it down. Money's, money's no, no problem. Like yeah, you like that? What else you like? Whoa. Mm, oh, you like the you pool? Like, we you like that money's not a problem. No sense to go to. Oh, no, we're talking about me. We ain't talking about no pool. But it's like, we'll talk about that tomorrow at dinner. We ain't got to worry about that right now. You like, like outside. Mm -hmm. you, like, you like all that. You like me? Yeah. You like me? Mm. Okay, okay. I like you for sure. You cool. We'll see how you are tomorrow. You know, you a little, you a little shy now. But yeah, tomorrow we definitely going to open you up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway. Open you up. And then she goes. Wait, but let me finish busting your ass. Yeah, by this little interaction alone, she clearly senses that he's flirting with her and she's not shutting it down. Is she into yeah, him though? Or is she just into the money and the opportunity? I don't want to say it's like a 100% yeah. fail so far. I want to see if she's maybe going to like tell me about right. like and say like, oh, I was just doing that. I was uncomfortable. You were gone. Right. So that's what I'm like, I'm hoping for. But at the same time, I don't know that there's definitely better ways of going about that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, though, it's on you. I know you said you wanted to keep this thing going. You still want to do that? Oh, 100%. And you're still cool with trying to finish it today? Yeah. Cool. Cameron told Bella that they would hang out tomorrow, but the plan was to finish this test today. We already had an excuse to get Bella to come back. I'm trying to stay optimistic that she's yeah. just going to tell me. But yeah. I mean, yeah. And that, and that too, try to give her a chance to, like, I don't know if she will. To tell you, something. like, yeah. I can just be like, oh, what you guys talk about? Mm -hmm. And then see what she says. If she Should does, then recording that part or like somehow like voice memo or something. Or? I mean, that'd be pretty cool if you could get it on a voice memo. That'd be actually really cool. Okay, that'd be actually really cool. I need a little snack. You want you want like a little snack out of the kitchen or anything like that? Sure. Yeah, come on. For now, Cameron's job was done. Our new priority was to get Ken and Xavier back into the scene. Hey, Kyle, we need an excuse to get these guys back downstairs. <laughs> And that was what he wanted to do for his birthday. So like, it was super cool though. It was like a Mario Kart thing. We drove through the city. But who is that? Oh, Lincoln. Yes, sir. What's up, man? How are you, bro? I need your help with the car. Do you want to have her come out? Yeah. Hey, anything. Bella, real quick, come here. I wasn't entirely sure what the excuse to get Bella out the house was, but hey, when you're in a stranger's house, you usually do what they say. Have you seen the new M3 competition sports before? Like, it's the new, the new BMW. No, yeah, it's literally people like one of yet. 350 ever made. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The keys got locked inside, so I'm trying oh. to figure out how to do it from your app. Oh my god. <laughs> do you think the outside is cool? Wait till you see the inside. Go ahead, take a look. I love the red. Yeah. So I guess the excuse was that the car keys were locked in the car and they needed Cameron's phone to unlock it. A little random and odd, but Bella didn't question it and it got the job done. Alrighty, you guys are good. <laughs> so crazy. As they come in, they go out. <laughs> Ken, you're gonna not move your car back. You can just say that you parked it down the street or heck, she might not even question it, but just leave it walking outside and turn it off. Copy on that. Do you have like a dream car or anything like that? Yeah, I would like a Porsche. A Porsche? Alrighty, guys. Well, that's it. Damn. That's probably them right now. 
I'm a little on like the fence where like, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and just think that she's just trying to be nice. Well, not trying to be nice. More like, hey, let me just tell him what he wants to hear. We were keeping this test going, so we were going to learn Bella's intentions soon enough. We just had to get her and Xavier out of there. And the excuse was, was that Xavier got called in for work. Remember, Xavier actually just got a new job, so we were using that to our advantage. Did you yeah. get like a call or something? They just yeah. called me in, but I, it's a new gig, so I don't really want to like... Oh, uh, oh, you got called in to like work? Yeah. Oh. That's what they gave it to you. They did, but someone called out the closing. So I got a, I got a four hours. Yeah, yeah handle your, hand your business, bro, like for sure. So you just start a new job. You, you guys are still down, and maybe, maybe later tonight when I get out. It's probably work out better that way anyway, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Do your thing, bro. Hell yeah, good scene. Nice meeting you, Bella. We'll definitely be well acquainted. We'll talk soon. And with that, phase two officially came to an end. The plan was to execute phase three in a couple of hours. Our arms are folded, man. Yeah, but did you see the she's look? Gonna but did you look at the look of her face when she saw that car? Well, everybody looks at a car doesn't mean she's a cheater. Just because she looked at a car makes her guilty? Mm, no, but you can tell a lot. Like, did you guys have fun? It was fine. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Ken in forever, so I just, he kind of put me in the spot to like, go with him. And yeah. I, I felt bad leaving you, but um, what did you guys do? Yeah, I just played Connect Four and just like talked a little, you know. Okay, what did you guys talk about? Um, just like Arizona. Um, that's it, really. It's like crazy. Arizona. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to him in like forever, so I was just wondering, you've talked to him more than I've talked to him in like the last two years. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Not really. Nothing. Mm -hmm. How was the post sale go? Like, how did that go? Oh, that was really cool. I mean, like, a grand. And, like, all of those Funko Pops? It was a lot of Funkos, but That's it was like. crazy. Yeah. So as you guys just heard, Bella did not tell Xavier everything. And I hate that's to sad. say it, but that's a huge red flag. Honestly, like she was really shy at first, but when I started like opening up about like opportunities and stuff, that's when she like got into it. And okay. I feel like she broke out of her shell a little bit. Okay. So, and I started talking about money. I think that's when she was just like, oh, okay. Anybody gets excited when you see a nice watch, when you see a nice car, when you see a nice house, we all get excited. True. It doesn't automatically make you a cheater. She could just be trying to use me. She could just be trying she to use me. She wasn't like hella, like she wasn't like super, super flirty. Like I think she could be an opportunist. If you have a partner who is willing to go see another guy that they just met, regardless of their financial situation. And she does nothing with you. But you don't consider it's that not, cheating? Even when your partner goes out with the person of the opposite sex, you don't consider that cheating? It's not a it's not a good look. No, that's 100% cheating. Yeah. Let me take it out of you. I heard, I heard oh. you guys were running oh. a little thing. This was wild. We don't usually record a three-phase test in two consecutive days, but we figured that it was best to just finish this since Bella's from out of town and she's staying with Xavier. I mean, we he didn't want him wondering if she was going to stay loyal the entire weekend. So as soon as he was able to get away, he texted me that he was on his way back. How'd it go? I think it went good. Is she suspecting anything? Don't think so, no. She believes you're at work right now? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's, dude, I was just like thinking in my head, this is freaking crazy. She didn't tell me about the phone number. She didn't mention that. She didn't mention about like him giving her connections. Yeah, hopefully she goes to him right now. We're gonna have him call him. He's getting ready and we're finishing setting everything up, but honestly, she could save herself if she goes to him. Everyone's definition of cheating in a relationship is different. So what would you consider a fail to be for you? Well, I mean, if it's her number, like her real number, I already consider that a fail. Just because she didn't tell me about it, she didn't tell me nothing. So if this is her number, then I already consider that a fail. That is true. That is true. The simple so fact that sure. she, Hopefully. The simple fact that she didn't tell him nothing. Crazy. Please go straight to voice. Let's see, let's see if she even answers. <laughs> don't answer. Oh, she don't answer. Better not answer. Hello. Yo, this is uh, this is Bella, right? Mm. Yeah, who is this? Yeah, it's Cam. Yeah, you you just damn. How many numbers you give out today? <laughs> I didn't say anything yet. Oh, didn't say. Well, lock me in now. You you gotta take me serious. But is, is this uh, is this a good time? Uh, yeah, I can talk. All right, you can talk. All right, cool. Well, I know earlier, um, Xavier said that he had to work and whatnot. Like, is he gone or like is he still around or, or what? He's gone. All right. Well, listen. I know we we made plans for tomorrow, but I mean, since your boyfriend's at work, like, what do you think about hanging out tonight instead? I mean, I don't know. Like, you don't know. Maybe to get ready, and like, I, mean, I don't. I don't want Xavier to come back, and like, I'll, I'll be gone. I mean, he's at work. You know, he should be on for a while. That's like, bad. How do you feel about it? I mean, I don't know. Like, he's gonna only be gone for like. 
four hours, so. I mean, that's perfect. I mean, you take like a little hour to get ready. I send a drive over to you, pick you up. Um, yeah, you know, we do our thing. I take you back. It's like it's like it never happened. Do our I thing. think we could pull it off for sure. I mean, I, I want to go, but... Mm. The fact she just said that, I want to go with you. Like, what? I don't know if I'm really ready to go out anywhere right now. Like, what if his roommates, like, say something or... I don't know. I mean, you can make up some sort of excuse, like, you know, you, you going to see some family or some friends or something. Like, it, it's got to be something that you can say. And, and they don't know you. It's not like they're going to question or pressure you about it. Like, they're just going to be like, oh, okay, for sure. And just leave. Yeah. Um, can they? Yeah, I can say, but I, I can send them to run some air. I can keep them busy for a few hours. Like, we're going to kick them for two hours, you know, something real quick, and I'm going to send you right back. It's like it never happened. It, it's going to be fun for sure. All right, so how long you need about like 30 minutes, like an hour, like how, like, I'm trying to figure out what time to send my driver over to get you. Oh, you're gonna send a driver? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send you a driver, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but nothing about this phone call sounded innocent. Bella was Ooh. failing big time. Yeah. Yep. All right, yeah, just uh, just let me know when to send a driver and send me the address and then, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Yeah, so I would consider that a fail already, honestly. But yeah, I'll toss part of it for real. That shit is a fail, man. I just, I'm thinking about what she's going to say. It's like, if you want solid proof, like, I'll really, yeah. like, press her, you know, I'll try to, you know. Do whatever, go all the way. I'll, all right. Bella coming right. over while on quote unquote vacation and yeah, while we're with right. at work is wild. Like I said, that is some next level cheating. Kyle's on his way to pick her up. I'll keep you and updated. Ready to get to it. It's crazy. We were legit here. Three, four hours ago. That's, Holy a, God. God. That's a different state of cheating. Holy, fly to a whole nother state and cheat. I have deja vu. I so know. we kind of adjusted the front camera. Kyle will be the one picking up Bella and bringing her here. But of course, the camera that we set up in his car would have died halfway through the drive. Thankfully, though, his mic was still rolling. Like I said earlier, I, I think she already failed, but it's more of like the, I know how she is. She's going to try to mani manipulate yeah. the situation. <laughs> I mean, I think she had a chance a to save day. herself. 100%. I get why you want to go forward, though, and see the extra proof so she has no excuses. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel you with that, man. To, to me, it's just wild because you're supposed to be working and she's coming here for lack of a better phrase i feel like this was one of the easier tests to pass i mean bella's from out of town xavier flew her out she's staying with him if he was on the front or even back of her mind she would have easily said no that's crazy because she could have been doing all that stuff down in arizona but ever he would not have known he come uh, come to here out with him in California and just damn near cheat. Well, it definitely is a fail. But all you gotta do is just chill. You wouldn't know. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but I'm just saying. Hey, how are you? Are you good to see you again? Of course. So what's the plan after this? I, I don't know. I, I'm for sure it, if she shows up, her can't. She's gonna have to figure her own way back home, like plane wise. You gonna cancel her flight back? One hundred percent. Yeah. All her stuff <laughs> is at my house right now, so I don't know like what she's gonna do with that. Like, so you're gonna cancel her flight back home? Would you let her stay with you still? No. Nope. No. no. This there sounds you. harsh, but at the same time, come on now. Bella was given a choice and she chose to trade her boyfriend out for another man. You can't give someone your loyalty if it isn't reciprocated back. I don't blame you if you don't let, us, let her stay with you for That's the rest true. of her trip. I don't blame you if you cancel her flight back home. I mean, it just sucks, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna see your car. We gotta move your car. <laughs> we, <laughs> I didn't you know, even think about yeah, that. Yeah, let's go move your car. No, just... we're gonna go move his car. We forgot to move his car. Okay, bet, bet, bet. <laughs> <laughs> what a rookie mistake. We were so caught up in the moment that we forgot to move Xavier's car. This one little oversight could have cost us the entire test. That was a close one. <laughs> Damn. I almost ruined everything. No, dude. I mean, hey, in our defense, it's been a long freaking day. Like I said, we usually don't pull three face tests in two days. <laughs> oh, he's here. Yeah, he's here. He's here. Perfect. I'm sure he's very excited to see you. Let me go and get your door for you. Kyle's coming out. Check this out, guys. This is Kyle, Mr. Chauffeur. With Bella now here, I mean, that was it. She officially sealed her fate. She, yes, she did. Oh, and she's dressed up. She is dressed up. Like, dressed up, dressed up, ready to go out. 
What's going on? How you doing? Good, how you are good? You? Good, good, good. You straight? Yeah, I gotta go upstairs and check the heater really quick. Right, crazy. Yeah, do your thing. Thank you. You look good. Bella knows exactly what she's doing. I mean, she came dressed yes, she to go out to dinner. Obviously, yes, though, did. that isn't gonna be happening. Got a little surprise for us, a little sh champagne. You That's she she that's that's you no know, just that's, to you know what I'm saying get us all that's started with right there. You don't really drink champagne? Yeah, now you do for sure. Damn. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's done for. This is a matter of fact. She's over at another guy's house, bro. Drinking champagne with him while you're drinking at work. Champagne. You look a little too good. Earlier you was chilling, but you didn't dress up now, so you a little you a little different now. But yeah, do you want to check out the pool? What you want to do? With champagne in hand, Cameron begins taking Bella over to the pool. Look at the view. It's really unbeatable. This is the place to be at nighttime. There are some that may still defend Bella and say that she's only here for networking or the opportunity or just to hang out. Xavier wanted to cast all that doubt away. All right, we got to get in. Cameron manages to convince Bella to dip their feet in the pool. Is it warm enough? Hell yeah. Yeah. Try not to fall over. There you go. Champagne's kicking in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> champagne kicking in already? Lightweight. Oh, it is more. I told you saw you thought I was a liar. I'm not oh, you. Damn, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Liar? I'm not you. Wow, you didn't catch you that part. Too good. I see you got your little lip gloss on uh, and everything uh, else. Like you really, you really did it. Like you, you was beautiful before, but now it's like. If she kisses him, then we can just go. Mm, you looking. Too Cameron begins taking Bella over to the pool. Look at the view. It's really unbeatable. This is the place to be at nighttime. There are some that may still defend Bella and say that she's only here for networking or the opportunity or just to hang out. Xavier wanted to cast all that doubt away. All right, we got to get in. Cameron manages to convince Bella to dip their feet in the pool. Is it warm enough? Hell yeah. Yeah. Try not to fall over. There you go. Champagne's kicking in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> champagne kicking in already? Lightweight. Oh, it is more. I told you, saw, you thought I was a liar? I'm not oh, you. Damn. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, here we go, bro. Man, you look too good. I see you got your little lip gloss on and everything else. Like, you really, you really did it. Like, you, you was beautiful before, but now it's like. If she kisses him, then we can just go. Mm, yeah. You're looking too, too, yeah, not. too, too good. Mm. I've been looking at your lips all day. You got some nice lips on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get like a little pack. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Are we, are we good to go? Uh, yeah, she's so. All right, guys, we're going in. We're going in. That was fast, quick, and to the point. There was literally zero hesitation from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's too good. Close and mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this Ooh. color on you. Hold, hold on, uh, get, uh, Xavier, give us some time to uh, adjust for you. Of course, time. we would start having some technical difficulties as we were about to go in. If you want to, I can get a personal chef to just come through. We can kick it here in the crib. We ain't got to. After making sure our equipment was good to go, we began making our way back in. Everybody good. It's been a long and crazy ride, but I hope you guys haven't talked to this because you guys already know. This shit's going to be good. What are you doing? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? You think I'm at work still? What are you doing here? Is, is this your girlfriend? What is this? Yo, you're f***ing cheating on me. Why are the cameras here? Don't worry about the cameras. You're f***ing cheating on me. We saw everything. Since you put your number in his phone, we have all that on footage. You're f***ing cheating on me. What do you mean, what am I doing? I just f***ing seen everything. You just gave him a f***ing kiss and he's over here grabbing you. You're just okay with it? I left you alone for 20 minutes and you put your number on your phone? What's up with that? Just hanging out. Just I gave you some to give me a call or even when I asked you in the car, I said, oh, did anything else happen? You didn't say none of that. You lied to me. Nothing happened. We didn't do anything. You mean nothing happened? I just seen everything. This whole thing was a setup. 
So Bella, so just so you're aware, like this entire thing was basically just a loyalty test. We're aware that you guys have a long distance relationship and everything, and David just wanted to see if you'd stay loyal to him or not. You got um, caught plain and simple. This ain't even in his house. Yeah, we set up this mm -hmm. entire test. Cameron doesn't really live here. Like this entire thing was just a test. Obviously, your boyfriend's not really at work. He never was at work. He didn't go to work this morning. He wasn't at work right now. Um, we just wanted to see what you would do if, you know. You're crazy. How the f am I crazy? You're you just so got hard. caught plain and simple. You're crazy. How the f am I crazy? So How am I talking? You just You're cheated so on me. You just you cheated on me. That's so yeah, and look, you That's failed. So where, where are you going? You're not going back to my house. So where am I supposed to go? You got to figure it out because you're not going back to my house. Where the f am I going to go? I don't you know. Wait, wait, here. didn't didn't you tell Cam that you have girlfriends out here? Maybe go with one, one of them. Or maybe one of your dudes from Arizona. Since every time you be oh, lagging on me, now I know what the f you be doing. What do you do? I'm going to throw that to the street and you can pick that up that's where you belong anyways how the f am i a <laughs> dork you just cheated on me hey you're, you're you, what are you gonna do to get back home your flight's canceled i'm gonna cancel that <laughs> yeah i <laughs> paid for it your own money. You, sound so dumb. you wasted plenty of my money and my time you were so about to go skinny dipping with this man no i wasn't you mean no you oh, wasn't <laughs> ridiculous so wasting my time you know that, right? i'm so what you were so how the f am I stupid? I mean, you're like manipulating. Like, you just kiss me and everything. Like, that's cheating. Like, if he did that to you, like, you'd be, you'd be sick, bro. Like, like be real. What? What, what was it like crazy. that? Everything was on footage since yesterday. That's Don't you crazy. feel dumb? Like, everybody know you're gaslighting right now. They're, everything's on. Yeah, you're gaslighting. Made me, me look like the crazy one saying I'm psycho. You do sound crazy. How the f am I crazy? Well, are we not in a relationship? Weren't we supposed to be working on us? Yeah, that will be to the street, like I said. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> you good? I mean, I don't even feel bad. I mean, she told him she had friends out here. So, I mean, she, she can figure it out. I don't even want to see her face. Wow. So after just straight gaslighting Xavier, Bella was kicked out to the streets. Now, even though she was 100% in the wrong, I did feel bad for her. Hey, Xavier, how's she going to figure it out, dude? She said she has friends. She, she has a whole and contact list out here too. Why the f you guys me? The Maybe Bella did have friends or a roster that could help her out. It still didn't roster. change the fact that she was oh. 400 miles away from home though. Bella. Hey Bella, well, we, we, we can like call you an Uber. Are we you, can even book you a flight if you don't have a way to get home. We got that with the situation, but we do want to at least get you home safely. Part of the whole setup. Regardless of the mm. setup, we just want to make sure you get home safe. Do you have a way of getting back to Arizona safely? <laughs> Do you, do you have her contact info? Yeah, I have her contact. Okay, Bella? We're not condoning Bella's actions, but we're also not about to let her figure this out on her own. Since Kyle has her contact info, can he can he help you figure it out? He wasn't even doing anything. That's what's really hard. Like, he left me alone. He wasn't giving me any kind of attention. And then he expects me to, like, be all over him. Here's what we'll do. Look, I'll call... She later... <clears throat> Specify why she did what she did. Crazy an uber for you right now to get to your place or to xavier's place whatever we'll organize with xavier to get your stuff and we'll organize your flight back home xavier's not going to do this out of his own no. pocket we'll do it out of our pocket to help you Come over. okay all right let's cut the cameras you want to go talk to xavier you want yep, to i got to it xavier? okay cool you want me to cut the camera yeah go ahead. yeah let's cut the cameras i don't regret our decision yeah bella's a cheater but i'm okay with making sure she got home safely she could cheat all she wants in arizona in there <laughs>